Hello, everybody. I'm Chris with the Game Show. Welcome back to Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, we decided to hold off on fighting the flying gym leader, and now we, I see why this is literally the hardest gym known to man. Well, can be. You did not watch my video on how to transfer Pokemon from Rejuvenation to Reborn to Desolation. That is how I have a Gyarados and a Metal Burst. So, you know. To the skies! Place is pretty. Come this way, Tristan. So, you may be wondering where or what this place is. Perhaps it is best described as a frame of mind, literally. To be surprised or not, I have been given the duty of healing Alita and preparing you for the future. Yes, you, Tristan. Now then, Alita requires one final piece of the puzzle to finally repair herself. And as for you, Tristan, you may require more. I will be that piece that puts you in your step further to completion. We're reversing Spiritual Healer Soda. This field is literally, if you had a permanent Mega Rayquaza in play, this is annoying. Skarmory, 73 with an Elemental Seed. That's why he got this negative one special defense, negative one defense, but got a permanent eight wind Tailwind. A Sky Attack, Steel Wing, Stealth Rock, Heavenly Wing, which is his signature move. Sky Attack is free on this field. And apparently, we decided to flinch and screwed ourselves over. We are not living another hit. We are not faster. This battle's already over. We needed those, uh, Stealth Rocks. Electrifier will live a Sky Attack. Thunderbolt will land. He already kicked in. We know he's faster than us. We should have probably T waved. And Metal Gross take a hit. Bullet punch. Good news is, Metal Gross can take a hit. <laughs> Metal Gross can take two hits. <laughs> Uh, this bird is 74 with the crest. Hurricane, Tailwind, Hidden Power, Ground, Revelation, Dan. We're gonna die regardless. Uh, apparently, Revelation Dan takes out our Soul Rock in one shot. There's the Tailwind setup. Hurricane gets strengthened. We get confused. We do land our attacks, though. Unpheasant. 74 Salt Vest. Heavenly Wing Steel Wing Return Sky Attack. Gyarados is useless. I was hoping to set up. <laughs> There are only three Pokemon I can live anything. Are Metal Gross, Sylveon, and Electivire. Shit, it's gonna be harder than that. Alright, let's try attempt two. I would like to not get flinched and to land my stealth rocks. Thank you. That's fine, we can die now. If we land a psychic, I probably should have went for the solar flare. That would probably stupid of me for not doing that. Sorry, you can't trigger. We get hit with the sky attack. 72. No more sturdy, so Thunderbolt cleans it up. As it comes in, as it gets hit by South Rock, big pex activated. The turn takes us out. Land the Meteor Mash crit, take up the Unpheasant. This is the Ghost Flying Bird. 
our last turn. I think I want to. We don't have any funnel cake. I left device, we know we're gonna go down. Bring Gyarados in. We'll hit the bounce. We get the Moxie boost. Swan is about to come in, that's fine. Our last turn, we're going to use the Max Potion on Electivire. We're gonna get hit with the Heavenly Wing. Swan at 74 with the Light, light Four. Hurricane Tailwind Surf, Heavenly Wind. You hit with the surf. The bolt should take it out because it's super. That leaves his Pidgeot. Hurricane Heatwave Razor Wind Roost. Apparently a Mega. I, I call hacked. We don't have a Mega yet. We did not have enough to take it out. Damn. And we're out of Pokemon. Round three. We got really close. Second round. Okay, we didn't, didn't flitch our Mammoth Swan. Absolutely nothing we can really do here because we know where Mammoth going to go down. And let's not screw this up. Soul Rock. Take the Steel Wing, we hit the Solar Flare, we put it down the Sturdy Range. I don't do anything with... We should Quick Claw somebody. That would, matter. that would probably matter. This is literally no defense. Battle's done. Round four. That's the other one that can um make ourselves some speedy Gonzales. Solar Flare hits! Get hit with the Steel Ring, we live! And with second Solar Flare! Wano wants to come in. Electivire comes in. Get hit with the Surf, it's fine. Because we T Bolt it! Pidgeot wants to come in. Mega Balls, he hit us with Razor Wind. Go down. I think that's fast enough. Ultra Potion, hit her with Hyper Voice. Again. Funnel cakes. Okay. 
T-Bolt. I'm gonna hit it with Hurricane. I think that killed us. Hey, I think we have the right strategy. We just need to revive somebody earlier. But now hit Stealth Rocks. Only Sky Attack took us down, though. Solar Flare, plus two attack, plus one speed. Swana comes in. I think Swana's faster than our Soul Rock. And faster than our Electivire. That's very odd. I understand Mega Pidgeot being faster than us, but... I understand Mega Pidgeot being faster than us, but Swanna? Fine. That one stopped. You're still faster than me. Are you 289? How fast are we? 218? Under Tailwind, they would be faster, but. Frick. Good question. How fast? Full health, you can live one. Not full health, In 14 minutes, and it's not even really.
Perfect fuse, we have no way of winning that. Rain Gyarados. We get the Tailwind. It doesn't have the Tailwind. Whee! Ah. Dragonite comes in. Dragonite 75. Beat this policy. Whee! Get out of here. We just need a faster Gyarados. All we needed was a faster Gyarados. Outstanding. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh, oh, good. Yes, good. Things should look up. This should should be this way. For winning, you deserve a prize. I received the win golden win badge. That should allow you to be able to fly outside of battle. For the love of god, yes! <laughs> GM62 Acrobatics. Face and tempt to horribly... Horrible beings. Nothing short of that. You thought I didn't know? Child, I am the one of their subordinates, a member of the Storm Chasers. Of course, not by choice, really. I am another piece that they played. You heard that Celia had a fiancé, right? Would you believe me if I said it was me? Yeah. Ah, but of course you could. The truth is, I had died before Celia and I could not marry. But, as, it was to as I was on to pass to the other life, my soul was stopped by two beings. They had an offer. I couldn't refuse temporary life for a favor. My talents as a healer was unmatched, but I decided to pursue something different. It kept me alive until the eventual day where I, where a curse Alita would show up. Now that both tasks at the, are at the end, I'm no longer required. I'm fading from this life once again. Let us return to the ground below. You know, the other day a child looked at me pretty weirdly. I wonder, what was that? Sora, wait! But why? Just got up and left? After everything we've been through, he doesn't even say goodbye? You okay? Yeah, I'm pretty fine. I bet he never cared about me anyways. Why would he? It wasn't my father anyways. Just some child he looked after, right? Stupid old man, I... We got Sona's cane. Do I know what the hell this is for? Absolutely not. Oh, Soda finally passed. I wish him well in the afterlife. He suffered a great bit, and it seems he still left his cane behind. Listen, I'm gathering everyone to meet in my room upstairs. Please go there as soon as you can, okay? Search it. How did the cane do? Mystical cane of Soda, ohm. It can extend and shorten itself at the base. That doesn't mean anything, but we make the gym badge! <laughs> Now we can use fly! He's like, use the golden jetpack finally! That was a pain in the ass! What'd you say we we're gonna be? Leaves room? Leaves room, right? I think. Stairs? Here. Here. Where the hell are they? Here? Oh yeah, through here up the stairs. Yep. It seems everyone is here. That is good. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not really in the mood for any of this. I understand what you're upset, Aaron. I am too, but this is necessity. It's time we break the curse on Alita once and for all. Really? Yes. Well, do that. I'm gonna have to tell you the truth. Truth. You went to Sheld to Shelderon in the past and witnessed Vivian's reincarnation. As you assume that this is what to be learned of the origins of your mother. Yeah. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. Leah isn't your mother. What are you saying, eldest? 
Kate's wife is Talia. Talia and I survived the calamity thanks to Andrew's crystal. And eventually, it was Kenneth that found Talia in a small home. Talia and Kenneth fell in love and had a child. This child was not you, Alita. One day, Sheldon was attacked by a cloaked figure. They lured Kenneth out of the house and then attacked and killed Talia and her daughter. No, Elvis, you aren't saying... Melia, you, were, you know what Vivian said to you back then. Her spell being interrupted will come with consequences. Her consequence was reincarnation. Leah was killed. She too was reincarnated into Alita. No, there needs to be some kind of mistake here. Some kind, some kind. This is no mistake, Alita. Kenneth witnessed it himself. Vivian's death gave birth to Talia. Talia's death gave birth to you. Vivian is who you are. That masked killer, is that the reason why I wasn't chosen to be sensei? Precisely. Cloaked figure knew of your existence. He would come back. That is why we are concerned we concealed your identity. Why did she run off like that? The chains self that put over her being are becoming undone. Everyone, after her. We can't let her leave the grounds. This wasn't peaceful. Everyone, prepare yourself. By that I mean don't run the team I'm running now because the team was specifically built to fight her. Was to fight. Was to fight the flying gym leader. It's aura Alita is imbuing. It's greater than it was last time. The darkness is. Is that the curse that got on Alita? That is right. Tristan, please give me the. No, I want the cane. This cane is the power of soda soul, mine and soda soul. As one can be destroyed, another lock, shatter and chain. This, dispel any damn curse. Alita! The truth was kept from me in my entire life. Everything I knew about myself was a lie. I'm nothing more than a freak of nature! A demon, that's what I am! That's what she really thinks of herself as? It's not true, Alita. You aren't evil. You are not a demon. She won't listen to reason. Alita, open your heart! Alita has disappeared. Alita has retreated within the curse itself. That is all. But this is what we wanted. The curse has reached its ugly head. With that portal open, we can reach down to the depths of her mind and tear apart the evil that's been death in her heart. Celia, this this be a dimensional rift? How are imbuing from it? It's similar to a dimensional portal, at least. To a rift portal, that is. Correct. A human comes in contact with rift matter. This is their version of a dimensional rift. For this to be successful, I need Tristan and Aaron to venture and rescue Alita. What? Why not me? We'll need your power. How did you... No time, Aaron. I'm fine with this. This is my scene anyways. Alita's always needed my help, but there wasn't a real way to do so. Save Alita. Tristan, Aaron, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Don't worry about it, Tristan. I will save little Alita. Just don't let me know when you're ready to dive in. I am not ready to dive in. I need to heal my team and rethink this through. Let's do it. Are we ready to go into the rift? Whoa, where the hell are we? <laughs> wow. I'm not entirely sure what I expected. This is... It's like a child... Children's book. Judging by the poorly drawn S, I'm willing to say this is supposed to be Shadon Village. Some people just can't let go of their home, I guess. It's been a long time. Oh, wow, for me. Mere moments for the two of you. I'm not a feeling we'd see each other in here. Absolutely, this is our border, too. Referring, you're referring to Talia, right? Yes, I am here too. Oh, you've grown up. I guess you always have been. So, how do you know both of you aren't trapped sent by Alita? Guess we can't prove it. We'll just have to take our word for it. That's a bit of a tall order. Whatever it takes, fact or not, or not, we'll be proceeding. She's here. In our old house, we won't be able to directly influence what happened after this point, but we'll try to help in whenever we can. That'd be appreciated. Ready, Tristan? Let's do this. Hello? Oh, hello. You must be Alita's friends from school, right? Huh? Annette, sweetheart, will you go fetch Alita for me? Oh, of course, dear. You have to know where she is. Last time I seen her, she was outside. Mommy, 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 I'm home. Alita, there you are. Your friends from school are here to visit you. I'm going to my room. Okay, darling. We'll send your friends up there as well. Okay. Sorry, but we didn't... Why don't we just speak outside? Huh? I'm afraid this is the first time we've met, sweetie. 
Leia outside did say that she wouldn't be able to help us in the past this point. Maybe that's what she meant. I'm afraid I'm not following you, dear. That's fine. We're not real anyways. So let's move it aside. Why'd you always have to go and ruin everything, huh? Can't you just see that we're a perfect family here? Everything's perfect! What? That wretched child ruins everything for us. Now look, our guests think we're bad people. Are you too neglectful of, of the house? Have you said something to be rude? What's going on here? Relax. It all started when I said, Hey, Talia, this isn't the real you, you know. Now look at what you've done. The neighbors are here asking for sugar. What are we going to tell them? That we don't have no sugar? This is your fault, you know. It's just let her go. None of this would have happened. How could I let her go? How, Kenneth? It's like I'm watching a really bad family sitcom fall apart. Sheesh! Alright, would you two mind disappearing so we can... So there's space for people... Well, I got rid of them. Yeah, I turned the place all red. Seems the leader's rift got irritated when I tried to dispute loses authenticity. Perhaps a functional family is what Aaliyah wanted your family to be. You cannot live in a, the bubble forever. Did you know that popping bubbles is my favorite pastime? Because it is. Great. Alita. Oh, hello, friends. Are you here to play? Not particularly. Alita, there's something we need you to talk about. Talk? Why not play? Alita, I'm going to need you to listen to me carefully. We are going to need you to come with us. Go with you? I... I don't remember it. You don't remember it now, but you don't belong here. People outside are waiting for you to return. But... but I don't want to go. I'm afraid this isn't a choice. We're going to get you out of here. No, I don't want to go. I want to stay here with my mom and dad. Everything here is perfect, so why don't you just go? Don't make me say it, Alita. You won't want to hear it. Get away from me. You need to wake up, Alita. You know more than anyone else here that this world isn't real. It's real! It isn't. And I'm gonna and I'm not gonna baby you like everyone else in your life did. We're gonna drag you out of the stream whatever you like it or not. This isn't real. Nothing here is real. No, it can't be. It can't be real. No! Damn. Boy. I get thrown around by that girl one more time. Alita's world shattered. Is this the truth to made known? This path, I bet Alita's guiding us to her. The portal from the real world is here too. If we ever need to leave here for whatever reason, it seems like we can. Familiar, you're familiar with Ruth beings, right? Then you should prepare for what is to come. Downloading. We got code Bella. Which is what exactly? Code Bella. Oh. The incarnation of the cursed place on Alita. The burden Vivian and Tesla shared. You won't be able to stop until her perfect world is complete. The world without anyone. Jesus, that special attack and speed are through the frickin' roof. So it's weird that we have ripped notes and ripped decks. Magic requires a price to pay. Everyone must give something they love no matter what. Such is the rule of equivalent exchange, but no one is prepared for the consequences of their desires. Neither were we. Uh-oh. Yeah! Why are you idiots trying to ruin everything for me? I don't know. Sounded fun. In the real world, I'm a monster. A being that should never have existed, but here I'm wanted. I'm a necessity. I'm alive. This is where I belong. Where I will stay with my true family. What about your friend, Celia? She looked after you when you, we were her family. My friends and Celia are from the real world. We can never coexist. Enough with this edgy bullshit, Alita. You are the most stubborn woman I've ever met in my entire life. Your friends and family are the ones are the same. This fairy tale won't live to the real thing. That's right. This fake world is nothing but that. You caused us a lot of problems, but we love and care for you, which is why we won't let you fester in this hellhole. 
And that means kicking your ass right out. Then Tristan and I will be happily obliged. Tristan, if she wants to be an idiot, then let, let's all be idiots too. Fine, do what you want. Don't cry when you get hurt. Likewise, fight. Alita attacked. Five shot. Oh. The dimension froze. Oh, I didn't know it could. No, Intellion! Go! I jump kick! Bam! Delveon! Hyper Voice! I thought bosses couldn't have status ailments. Ultra Potion. Ooh, nice shiny portrait. I really wanted to moon blaster. Metal gross. Bullet punch. Just rock slide, earthquake, dark pulse, aura sphere, but I guess that doesn't matter. Alita. I'll find you. What what's happening to me? You've been freed, Alita. That's right, because of Tristan and Aaron, the curse that ails us will be broken. This world is beginning to crumble as we speak. So, this will be the only time we are together again. I'm afraid that's just how things are meant to be. Mom, I mean, Talia, I've always seen you as my mother. But now I know that it's not the case. I don't really have a mother. But you were born from my death. In a way, I am. We're connected through blood and soul. There's, Is there more to be said? Huh, I guess not. One last thing, though. What is Alila, darling? What was her name? Your real daughter, I mean. Her name was Nora. What a nice name. Alita, there's something I must tell you before we run out of time. Listen closely. We were this close to getting her out of here. We just wasn't fast enough, I guess. But this isn't going to stop me. This isn't the first time Alita ran away. If this rift still exists, it must mean that she's still around here somewhere, right? Standing around isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's go. At light! I won't let her go. Alita was lost inside her own mind. But I think I located her. Very good, Melia. Now bring them out. Got it! Alita! Tristan, Aaron, Melia, you've gone and done it. Vivian's madness, her curse has been successfully destroyed. Alita, she saved. Welcome home, you brat. How is she? Delia will be fine. She's up in, she's up there in age, but she still is kicking. All right, relax. It was just a joke. Alita's fine. She remembers everything too, so that's good. Phew, what a relief! I'm so happy. Delia will take good care of her while she naps, so no visitors. It's no problem. At least she's safe and doing well. Yeah. Seems like things have finally reached the end for this whole curse thing. She could be happier, honestly. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but wait for Alita to become well. I know a good place we can hang out until then. Ah! Kiwi, what are you doing here? And why are you screaming? Because I finally found you guys. It took a lot of effort. You want? Right, um... So, they still aren't allowing Lavender to have any visitors, but, uh, Lavender's well and wanting to speak with you guys. You guys are up for video call. Seems really important. Uh, yeah, please. We can call in my room. Let's head upstairs. That was a pain in the ass. Both boss fights. But in the end, we did it. The next episode...
Eh, wait. How much is left of this? Actually, let's finish this. Are you guys ready? I'll begin the call. We're ready. Okay. Hello, Lavender. Hello, Melia, Tristan. Good to see you. Thank you for accepting this call. Dr. Isha said that I can't have visitors. There's nothing I can do about that one. Technically, he said I couldn't video chat either, but the nice nurse lent me her laptop. So how are you feeling? I'm pr perfectly fine. Much better than I was a few days ago. But um, I'm sure you know I didn't want to call just to give you an update on my health. I know exactly who turned Venom into stone, and also, I wanted to fulfill my promise and deliver a message. Let's try this again, Lavender. What are you doing up so goddamn late? All right, fine. I suppose there's no one telling you what I'm doing. You see... Well, what is that? I don't know. Target's confirmed. It's a girl. Why did you scare us like that? It wasn't very nice of you. Your name is Lavender, correct? Um, yeah. That's all I needed to hear. Whoa, easy. No need to bring out the claws immediately, you know? What about we just talk about this for a second? You two talk too far too much as it is. I don't need to hear you. I'm doing my job after all. Have we met before, huh? I've seen you before in my life. I've definitely seen your face before. You you were that girl Melly was trying so hard to say. What is your name? Nim. Your name is Nim, wasn't it? But that's impossible. I'll keep you alive. Now I remember you. You, I've clear. I've only ever seen you with triple hair. See, we're friends. We aren't friends. Not even close. What? What are not? I wonder. Have you two ever felt a real fear before? Real fear? I can't say that I have. I want to show you, I want to see you experience fear. Yes, that's what I want the most. Better run. Play things. Otherwise, the big bad Nim is going to get you. I don't want that. Adam and I ran for what seemed like hours. No matter which, what we turned, no matter what dumpster we hid under. A girl named Nim. She was there, just waiting for us. Like she was toying with us. She had no intention of catching us. She just wanted to see us run in fear. That's when it happened. What the? Problem. You can't stop. Listen to me, Lavender. She's not going to stop chasing us. No matter where we go, she'll be right behind us. I need you to go without me while I buy time, okay? What are you talking about? I'm not going to leave you behind. God damn it, I'm not giving you a choice. Either she catches us or we die in exhaustion. So, you're going to whether, you're going to, whatever you like it or not. Okay, I'll go. Good. I'll need you to go get Tristan and Melia. You can get them. We'll be safe. Tell them. Tell them that Nim did this. Promise me. That you'll find and tell them that. Oh, and one last thing. You may not get another chance to say this. Tell Melia this for me. Remember, I love you. I... <laughs> I will tell her. And get going. Can't believe I'm doing this. So stupid. Hope you weren't too angry with me, Melia. Where are you? Where are you? How long can you run for? I'm getting bored with that. Won't be nice, won't you? Oh, won't you? There you are. Yeah, that's right. Here I am, you coward. After everything we went through to save you, just why exactly do you bust our asses to save someone who's insane? Are you calling me a coward? Who's the one trembling in fear and stepping away from me? The only coward here is you, Venom. How does it feel to not be tough anymore? You always think you're in control when really you have no choice, you selfish girl. But being selfish is all you've ever known. Even now, in the selfless act of sacrifice, you do nothing but bitter my tongue with green taste of greed. You're not a hero, nor a good person. But that's all the time we have for now. Let's say the draft of the show. What? Did this? Did this, my scary bit scare you? I worked so hard to sound genuine. You shouldn't have seen the look on your face when I went all Grim Reaper. You're saying all this was just a prank? <laughs> No, I'm still going to kill you. Well, I wouldn't exactly say demonetize you. It's more like petrification. You know, the kind I went through, the same thing. Don't worry, you won't feel pain. In fact, you won't be feeling much at all soon. Oh, and for the record, I know you all left me on Valor Mountain to die. So how dare you say after all we've done for you? You've all done nothing for me. She showed me after all. She? Who is she? Huh, wouldn't you like to know? I think I'll satisfy you and leave you in a heap of suspense. Besides, the only person who cared enough to try to save me was Tristan. Tristan came to Valor Mountain by himself and tried to save me, but they failed. So good night, Venom. Have a nice eternity. Nim, don't listen to her. Whoever this person is, they're lying to you. You don't know the hell we went through to try to save your life. 
Stop calling me Nim. That's not my name. My name is Lorna. I am the girl who was alone. It wasn't... I wasn't even there, but I could hear everything going on. Even though I ran as far as I could. Remember, it's like the hall was never ending. I couldn't run away from what was happening to Venom. It was like a nightmare. But it doesn't end there. Eventually, I ran... I, I couldn't run anymore and I collapsed. Uh, uh, uh. Truthfully... You were more supposed to be the one on my list. If certain circumstances came up, I shifted my point of view. Thus, I'm sparing you the dread of having to be turned to stone, for now at least. But I want you to relay a message to a very special someone. I believe you know her as Melia. Tell her that I'm looking for her, and that when I finally meet her, I'm going to get her myself. You understand, Team Zem won't get her because I will. Oh, and a small piece of advice. Don't hang around these people. Things like this happen when you do. Goodbye, Lavender. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know it's hard to hear, and I'm sorry I put Venom in that position. No, it's okay, Lavender. This isn't their fault. Will that be all, then? Oh, yes, that is all. Thank you for laying those messages to me, Lavender. Please get well soon. Thank you. But everyone, bye, Huey. So, I'm not sure how I expected to react, but this wasn't it. Are you alright? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine, really. Mm-hmm. It was really good to hear Lavender. Really glad she's doing well. Hmm. If that's it, then, I guess I'll head out myself. You guys... Alright. You are not okay. Let's chill out a bit outside. Oh, Doc. How long have you been standing there? Communication devices like that aren't allowed. You know that. I know. But it was an, but it was an asthma attack, yes. But I'm ready to leave now. I'm ready to leave soon, aren't I? Trisha? I'm sure you're okay. Yeah, we've been sorting out. We already talked about it. I'm trying to process how I feel, I guess. Nim saying she wanted to get me sort of hit me in a way that I wasn't expecting. Mostly because she's supposed to be dead. Not that I'm the one to fake deaths, but at first I was furious. Then I suddenly shifted to an, ep to an epiphany. There's another person out there who wants to harm me in some way or another. But if I were to run into him again, I think I can make certain we understand each other. I have no idea why she wants to hurt me, but I'm done trying to be friendly. I see. Violence can be fun sometimes. Let's just hold back and hope it doesn't come to that. You two were friends at some point, weren't you? At some point. Right now, I am just kind of want to feel the ocean breeze. I can live with that. Also, one last thing. Sorry if it's too personal, but are you and Venom? Didn't necessarily think about that, but maybe so. Let's save Venom. I don't think we can do that, but we can all. One day, we'll find a way. So, how was everyone else's day? Interesting, but I could certainly say I ended in a positive way. Alita, hey everyone. Alita, you're looking like yourself again. Hey, thanks. Ilya gave me fresh clothes and a nice haircut. Get chipper and kick away Team Zen's butt. Come back. Good to be back, Tristan. Thank you. Thank all three of you for setting me free, finally. It gave me an excuse to kick your asses, but I think that's enough, thanks. But well, we could just let you stay that way. Isn't there something you wanted to say, Alita? Oh, that's right. I'm so I'm leaving. Leaving? But why are you? I became lost on my own rift. Evian spoke to me. We are now separated beings, but her power still has, has been passed down to me. Wake them, I must visit three springs scattered across the region. If I'm gonna fight Team Zen, I'll have to get stronger than ever. Awakening the power of Vivian, had inside of me, will just do that. This will also be a good opportunity for you to find myself. Feel a new brain of person. So I hope me leaving will disappoint you guys. I'm a little sad, but I understand you completely, Alita. I'll be leaving early in the morning, no need to see me off or anything. I'm just glad you guys have my back on this one. No need for tears, especially when there's a farewell fest feast to be had. Yes, let's eat. I'm starving. Kristen, Melee, Aaron, and Celia all enjoy a farewell meal with Alita. Next morning. Alright, time to get going. Sheldon Beard, shall I come? Hey, wait! You didn't think we are going to let you leave without seeing you off, right? We're rooting for you. That's right! You got this, Alita. Just don't die out there. There was a lot of work saving you before. Go now, Alita. We'll be waiting for you, everyone. Thank you. I'll make you all proud. With that, we unlocked Chapter 13, Conflicting Reunion.